Today, I'm going to speak about personal grooming. It is said that the first impression is the best impression. Well, what about, why should it be the best impression? Normally, when we meet a person for the first time, what is our perception? What do we do? We form immediately an impression of that person. How do we do that? We do that by looking at the person's appearance, the person's dressing sense, the person's uh, personality, and all these form an impression on our minds. Normally, when a person is well-dressed, well-groomed, it impresses us. The same thing happens at interviews. Many a candidate is rejected because he may or she may not be personally well-groomed. What is grooming? Grooming has many aspects to it. We talk about grooming right from the hair to your hands, your fingers, your toes, your dressing sense, the way you, um, uh, you know, clean all the orifices, that is your ears, your nostrils, your tongue, your mouth, your nails. All these are very, very important. Therefore, personal grooming starts with personal hygiene. Personal hygiene, when I talk about personal hygiene, first and foremost, we must see that our hair is cleaned. There should be no dandruff. It should be clean, well brushed, and not have too much of oil or stickiness. It should be well combed. Similarly, when we look at our face or our ears, we must see that our ears are clean, our mouth does not smell, we are using some kind of you know, lozenge or mint to clean your breath. See that your breath is fresh. Similarly, when you talk about your fingers, your nails, if you are in the habit of, ladies are in the habit of growing their nails, the nails should be well, uh, not have chipped nail polish. They should be cut or trimmed or shaped well. Similarly for the men, the nails should be clipped well. Similarly with your feet. When we talk about, um, uh, you know, men wearing shoes and socks, the socks should not be smelly. Shoes should be well polished. Similarly, footwear should be such that it is comfortable and not uncomfortable. The clothes you wear, it, you need not wear the latest designer wear, but whatever you wear should be clean, well pressed and should look presentable and good on you and should be comfortable. It cannot be something where you feel uncomfortable and awkward wearing those clothes. For example, for a girl, if she is not too comfortable in a sari, a salwar kurta is as good as a sari. Similarly, when we talk about, uh, you know, uh, our uh, way of uh, using makeup for the women, light makeup is always a better bet than heavy makeup. A light perfume, similarly for the men, a Dio or an antiperspirant is is very uh, is very much recommended. Uh, when we talk about personal grooming, it means that we are talking about uh, clothes. We are talking about your uh, uh, manicure, your pedicure, your hairstyle, your uh, uh, the way you present yourself, and whether your clothes complement each other. Do not wear uh, clothes that clash, the colors that clash. Always wear colors that complement each other and that make you look good. As they say, your uh, first impression is a lasting impression. So even the accessories that you use, for example, a watch or bangles for ladies, should be something which goes with the clothes. Similarly with earrings or chains, do not wear too much, especially working women, 
the lighter better same with the men do not wear too much of heavy jewelry whether it's a heavy bracelet or a heavy chain or too many gold rings these do not look too good when you are a professional we are talking about professional ethics or professional uh, grooming